kids in the Bahamas are not forgotten this holiday season. Yes, so wonderful. It's been four months since Hurricane Dorian ravaged parts of the island chain, and they are still recovering. Local 10 News reporter Nikki Mohan is live from Opelaka to show us. Nikki. Nicole and Calvin, nobody knows that better than the pilots here at Opelaka Executive Airport, especially here at Florida Air Cargo, where right now they're loading up supplies like they do three, four, five times a day to send relief over to the Bahamas. Well, today a different kind of relief, the kind of relief that brings smiles and warms hearts. Thousands of toys loaded onto a plane headed for the Bahamas at Opelaka Airport Wednesday morning, all for the children of Grand Bahama and Abaco. This special delivery was Robert Arkin's birthday wish. My birthday wish is to hire a DC-3 and fill it with toys and send it over and, and have the kids have a, a big smile for Christmas, which they normally wouldn't have because they have nothing. Uh, no, Mark, no, no. These elves are very familiar with the recovery efforts after Hurricane Dorian. There with the aid group, Third Wave Volunteers. There's still so much work to be done. People have lost their homes and whole communities, and they're living maybe in a house with 24 people or in tents still. Miami Palmetto 10th grader Robert Acosta enlisted his classmates and a local church to help. They filled up 15 boxes with toys. It made me feel great, you know. It, makes me, it also makes me feel grateful for what I have. With residents still so dependent on supplies, there is lots of trash left behind. Relief pilot James Cameron brings the recyclables back, bags and bags of water bottles. What I'm really looking for is to partner up with somebody to start a recycling program. You think of all these single-use plastics that went over, and right now there's really, there's no infrastructure to deal with it. South Floridians banding together to let Bahamians know they are thinking of them this holiday season. It's a mitzvah, it's a good deed, and you know, it's, it's good karma. And for, for me, it's just a matter of just making the kids happy. If they have nothing, give them something to look forward to, some hope. And you know, all these wonderful volunteers are hoping that South Floridians will see these stories and help out. Like the guy that's picking up all the water bottles, he needs somewhere to recycle them. If you want to reach out to me, I will reach out to him. I'll put all the information in my web store on local10.com. Calvin and Nicole, still so much to be done, but thankfully so many people here in South Florida willing to help, help them in any way they can. Live at Opelaka Executive Airport, Nikki Mohan, Local 10 News. It's so nice to see any little bit helps and just to see the smiles on their faces. Nikki, what a great story. Thank you. Well, from Christmas,